Hey guys, what's going on? So in the video today, I am very excited because in today's video, I'm going to be unboxing a pair of Truman boots that I've been waiting for. This pair of Truman boots has been in the works for literally years now. I don't always have the time to sit down and do uh, an unboxing video and share my thoughts, but this time I'm gonna make it happen because this is a special pair. This is a pair that's been on the Boot Avengers radar for years. My friend Lauren, at Inked Boots, she's had what's called Oyster Shell Rambler for years. <laughs> Oyster Shell Rambler is a color that Truman ran years ago. It's always haunted the Boot Avengers dreams. And in fact, I was between going for Oyster Shell Rambler and Black Burgundy Rambler, and I settled on Black Burgundy. The deeper you get into boot collecting, the more you start to realize like any little detail that's different You'll, you'll learn that you can start to justify. When you first get into boot collecting, it's like, oh, oh, I, I need, just need one pair of blue boots, one pair of brown boots, one pair of black boots. And then it goes from, oh, well, I have a black plain toe, now I need a black cap toe. And then, oh, now I need a black mock toe. And now I need a black Oxford and a black wingtip. And then, oh, now I need a tan. You start to realize that you need tans. And then, oh, you need a tan in every, you know, you need the tan plain toe, mock toe, medallion toe, perforated cap toe, wing tip. <laughs> the more you get, the more you evolve, the more you realize that there is room in your collection for different stuff. And so today, you know, two years ago, the Black Burgundy Rambler was the only, like, purplish boot that I needed. But then I realized, like, no, this Oyster Rambler is different enough. So let's see, because I haven't seen it in person yet. I'm doing it on camera now for the very first time. Oh, wow. That's a thing of beauty right there. Oh, wow. That's like a pale purple. Oh, oh God. <laughs> so freaking good. So at first I used to say, I would just ask myself, do I have that color? And now it's like, do I have that specific leather from that specific tannery in that specific color in that specific makeup? And if if the answer to any of those is no, then well, you can justify getting it. A purple boot from Horween is not gonna cover a purple boot from Stead. I'm sorry, it's just not gonna cut it. <laughs> so <laughs> let me talk a little bit about how this makeup came to be. So it came out, Adam Grimm, Bootfluenced on Instagram, he sourced this very Oyster Rambler himself. He bought it. He bought the side. He sent it to Truman. And then me and JD, One Damn 8 and Vision, and Adam, we all did our own makeup. And so I actually paid Adam for the hide. I sent him, I sent him money for sourcing the leather. So yeah, so we sort of crowdfunded this mini uh, round. So Adam, huge thank you to you, sir, for this. This couldn't have been possible without you because Truman wasn't planning to run this particular hide again. And so if it weren't for Adam, this wouldn't have happened and I wouldn't have this amazing, amazing pair of purple boots going on. Let me talk about this makeup. So I customized this. Starting from the bottom, we've got a black Vibram Christy Wedge sole. They do a really good job with their midsoles, I'm noticing lately, especially on the wedge soles. They do a really thick piece of leather as the midsole. I went with 360 degree storm welt. For the cap toe, I sprung a little extra to get the cap toes perforated, just to make them a little bit more different from the Black Burgundy Rambler. I love a perforated cap toe. I went for gunmetal hardware, two speed hooks, and then this is the real kicker here. The tongue, as well as the rolled edge at the shaft here, is Baltic Kudu. Baltic Kudu is an extremely dark navy blue, almost black. I was planning to go with black tongue, but Truman actually recommended Baltic Kudu, and Adam, Adam and I both were like, uh, yeah, let's do the Baltic. And so let's see. So you can kind of see here what's going on. Yeah, I can see it. It's probably not gonna come through on this camera. I'll get 4K outside shots of these. But yeah, Baltic Kudu. And so just to give a little bit of a comparison. So I do see black in the Oyster Rambler. I do see, I do see some black in there. But the Black Burgundy Rambler 
is a lot richer, a lot deeper of a purple, whereas the Oyster Rambler is a little bit more pale, so less pigment. But still, dream hauntingly good. On the Black Burgundy Rambler, I've got polished brass hardware up against a medium brown or a tan tongue. I've got 260 degree Goodyear welt yeah, on top of a Vibram Commando Soul. Burgundy rawhide laces in there from Guarded Goods. I'll probably order more of those to throw in there on the Oyster Ramblers. Oyster Rambler, lots of really good character. Rambler is, from an aesthetic standpoint, probably my favorite leather right now. I really, really love Rambler. It's the flesh outside of the hide. It's got so much veining and scars and abrasions and just really shows just a gnarly, gnarly, shows the best parts of the leather in my opinion because I like to see the life of the animal in my boots and that is what Rambler allows you to see. Same with Mohawk leather. Mohawk and Rambler are in the same same tannage class. Yeah, the Black Burgundy Rambler, especially here, right there, shows just the most incredible veining. I mean, looks like a lightning strike. The more you wear them, the more they sort of form. The, the nap becomes exposed and breaks free of the wax finishing and sort of becomes more fuzzy and really just shows just an incredible amount of character. That's what I love about Rambler. Rambler is probably pound for pound my favorite leather. I really love Horween Chamois as well. Don't get me wrong, I love the other leathers too, the Chrome Excels and the Shell Cordovan, Suede's Rough Outs and all that, but you want to talk about really getting your blood pumping? That's the Rambler. I don't know why more people don't use Rambler. I think more people should. More boot makers should run Rambler. In fact, I'm planning eventually to maybe source some Rambler to start making bags out of and maybe some aprons out of because I think it's just that, I think it's that tremendous. These are on the 79 last structured toe, right? Yeah, these are gonna be 79 last structured. Not the 20, I really love the 20. The 20 is probably my favorite last for Truman. And Lauren, it's funny because uh, some of the boot Avengers have said, hey Dale, you're just uh, copying Lauren now. Yeah, to a large degree, I mean, I really like the wedge sole. I know it's not everybody's favorite, but I really think it just has such a cool look. And it's my way of reliving like the sneaker feel, right? Because I do not wear sneakers. I do not like sneakers. I only wear them running and I even hate it when I'm wearing them running. Like I just do not, I'm not a sneaker guy. I think part of it is just because I feel like most everybody wears sneakers. It's just something, you know, 98% of society wears. I, I just, I don't like to conform. I do like to take inspiration, but I don't like to conform. And uh, that's one thing that I think makes just all of this so special is I feel like by not conforming, we're in pursuit of something very great, something very well-made, well-designed, aesthetically pleasing, something that I can be proud of owning. And that goes for all, the, all these boots that I have. I'm just proud, proud to have them all. Very blessed to have, to have it all. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. What do you think about these new boots in Oyster Rambler? I'm personally blown away. Very ecstatic to have these. Can't wait to start wearing them. Anyways, you can follow me on Instagram. My username is LV. And anyways, thanks a lot for watching. I will see y'all in my next video.